Wednesday the whatever it is today <laughs> um, and this is my recap of last night's semi-final um, semi-final one where we've I um, did a live reaction video of the results look at that on the channel as well where we had um, I got 7 out of 10 right now I'm going to talk about this now in detail um, I'll start with Cyprus now Tam says she sounded okay. She wasn't spectacular last night. I don't like the, the ripping of the clothes. I think it's a bit cheesy. It's been done so many times. It's been done to death at Eurovision. Um, and I think that's actually hindered her. I don't think she's... I think she will struggle to get top 10 now. I really do. Montenegro. Now, th this seems to be the best run through I've seen of Montenegro. I love the song personally. But I kind of knew it wasn't going to qualify. And um, do you know what? I re I don't reckon it's finished last in that semi final. I think it's next to last. Um, I think Portugal could have finished bottom. Finland, Darude, um, he's out. Um, I don't. I think the song was a bit too. Uh, it's a bit too bland, really, for most people's likings. Um, and that's a shame. Now Poland, one of the people I thought would go through. Um, now I'm on Poland. I'll, I'll discuss. I could have got nine last night instead of seven. But I had the last four of Hungary, Czech Republic, Poland and Estonia were my last four. Hello, boy. This is Toby, everyone. I'm sure you've watched my channel before and met him. Like, come on, come up here. Come up here, come on. Come up. There we go. He's the co-host of the show. When he's in the mood. Um, so back to the point, yeah, that... Poland, Czech Republic, Hungary and Estonia. These were the four I thought would be fighting out the last two places. And I was kind of right, um, I'm guessing. But I put Hungary and Poland through and actually those are the two that went out. Estonia and Czech Republic went through. Um, Poland was one of these songs that I didn't get to start with. I didn't like the recording of it. But the live version was so much better. And I think they, they deserved to get through last night, which is a shame. Slovenia, um, in my reaction video, I was so happy they got through the, um, they had the last place. Please, no, we're not chewing that, no, stop it. You come here and you lie down, good boy. Um, Slovenia, I think, will get top ten, I really do, it's such a good song. Um, I was kind of phasing out last night from that, from that song, but when the chorus comes in, um, it's been said quite a lot online. It's got this hypnotic feel and it just drags you back into the song. That is so good for a song. Czech Republic. Now, do you know what? I liked it better last night from the rehearsals from what I've seen. Um, obviously, great energy from Lake Malawi. Um, it is an annoying song. But Czech Republic back in, back in the final, which is great for them to see after Mikolos Josef last year. Do I think they're going to do top 10? Probably not. I think they'll be top side of the right hand side. But all depends on where they get. Um, Hungary missed out last night. Yotsi Papiai. Um, obviously it wasn't as strong as his previous entry. But it was a good song last night. Um, the staging was quite good. Um, and it's just a shame that... Um, I think they've had a, they had a really good qualification record since 2011 I believe. Um, Belarus, now I did not predict this going through last night, I was shocked, um, they replaced Belgium, obviously, from who I thought would go through, um, Zena actually, she didn't sound too bad last night, from every single performance I've heard, from the national final to the rehearsal, she has sound up, sounded off, but she's getting better and better, which is good, so she is improving, she is obviously young, 16, and I know she's had quite a lot of abuse online, which is totally wrong, um, but she... She's getting better at singing and dancing together. And that's only a plus for her. Um, and maybe that's why she's got through. Because if you look at it, if you want to talk about political voting, I don't believe it's a thing so much. Um, what other friends have they got around there? Well, you've got to look at Georgia, maybe Estonia. There's no other Eastern European country really sort of... To have borders with um, Belarus. Moving on to Serbia. Now, Kruna, I always knew would get through. She's probably got one of the best voices in the competition, for the females at least. Um, deserve to go through. Belgium. Now, 
I'm struggling to find why Belgium didn't get through last night. I know people are saying this stage is boring, what is he wearing, all of that. But the song, until last night, I didn't understand. The song did get a bit lost. Um, I still think it would have qualified. It deserved to get through to the final. But a second year running for Belgium, they haven't qualified. And um, something's going to have to change there. Georgia. Now, this is another song that I've liked um, recently. I thought this was one that could slip through last night. I didn't think it would, but after um, his performance, I thought he could nick the last spot. Um, he didn't, and um, it's a shame Georgia miss out again. Um, Australia, but no doubt that was going through last night. The visual effects for the audience at home, it would not surprise me if Australia won semi-final one. They were expected to at the start when they were put into that. And before we knew all the songs. And um, it's kind of slowly gone up in the rankings. I think it's up to third at the bookies at the moment. So that's very good. Iceland. Well, they probably finished second. I think it would be a very close second to Australia. Um, for Definitely on the public vote anyway. I don't think the juries would have voted for Iceland. That's where their problem's going to be. It's a good song. Um, I think it will get top ten. Great to see Iceland back in the Eurovision final. First time since at least 2015. They've missed the last three. Um, for such a good nation of Iceland at Eurovision, they deserve to be in the final. Estonia. This shocked me last night. They got through. Victor Krohn, that was probably his worst performance of that song I have seen through rehearsals and national finals. He was off key from start to finish. Um... And if it's a song contest, you've got to go for the song and the vocals, and he was off. Um, he was probably the second worst last night. Um, and that, it, it is a shame he's got through on probably instead of Poland or Hungary. And the worst, well, my favourite drug addicts, Portugal. Toby, can you get down, please? Three, two, one, thank you. Well, Portugal. Now, uh, I knew this was going to get through. People are on certain forums that I'm on. I'm not happy that it's been left out. I can understand why. Um, somebody on the forum actually made a very good point when they said, when we first listened to this, everybody thought this was rubbish. It said it all, innit? Most of the fans of Eurovision only hear the songs once. They're not avid fans like myself and like you guys watching. Um, we don't follow it all year round. We don't have, they don't have the chance to listen to the song time and time again, unlike us. So I knew it wasn't going to go through. I've never liked it and I'm glad it's out. Greece next. Um, Catherine Dushka. Now, she's not giving it her all still. Um, I know she was quite unwell before the contest. Um, Toby's. No. Wasn't well before the contest with flu. So um, maybe she's just resting her voice for sure. You're not having it. Or go away. For the final. And the one I predicted. Sir Hat, San Marino are back in the national final for the second time in their history. That is so good. Um, do I think it's going to win? No, because Sir Hat's going to open the grand final because he's in number one. If Azerbaijan got put number one, it could be one of those two. But they all, the EBU seem to like to put the... Whoever... Closes semi final two as the opener semi final one. They've done it the past two years and they did that at Junior Eurovision last year as well. The last three contests basically. Um, I think they'll give it to San Marino to open the show. Sir Hat was not great last night. His voice was off and his performance was quite bad in that aspect. His previous song was better. So it's um, just time will tell what will happen with that. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think Sam really deserved to go through last time, really, in aspect. Um, it, it's a good song, it's a good upbeat feel song. There's not really many of them in the final. Um, and then it comes to the drawing of the lots afterwards. If you went online afterwards and watched the press conference, big news happened there. There is only three more spots for semi-final two, which means we know that is the better semi-final. Some of the favourites are going to be in that first half. 
So, um, it, all the big five actually and Israel got put in the second half except Germany. They're only in the first half. Which is probably okay actually because Germany's probably the weakest out of those songs. Um, I don't actually like what Israel, um, Kobe Harami has done with his ending on his song. Which is a shame because I really like that song. So, um, it's going to be good. Whoever gets one of those three spots for that second half, it's going to be good. Obviously, Australia and Iceland are both in the second half as well. Probably the two winners. Cyprus and Greece got put into the first half of the, of the final. So, um, it's going to be good. Um, so, whoever gets those three spots in the second half, um, you know... They're, going, they're probably going to stand out. Hopefully it's not the three biggest songs, say like Norway, Netherlands and um, who else is high on the bookies? Um, I can't even think. Let's just say Russia. Cause I think they're fourth still. So Russia, Norway and Netherlands. Let's hope not all three of those get put in the second half. Because then you've got five big songs there in the space of 13. Um, obviously the running order would, would be okay for that. But if they had sort of only two of the big ones there. And one, say, if Moldova get through, which I hope they do, and put them in the second half, things will start to get very interesting for those four songs in that second half. If it's, say, Russia, Norway, um, and um, Iceland and Australia, it'll get very interesting. So um, that's basically my thoughts after last night. Um, so most of semi-final two will be going into half one or the final so um we'll just have to wait and see jury final tonight for the semi-final two we'll have to um wait and see what happens and i cannot wait for thursday if you like my channel do subscribe i'm up to 41 subscribers now which is great um like your video if you like it leave a comment below guys as well um got anything to say to me as always nothing Good to see you guys and um, take care and look out for my other videos this week. Thank you. Bye.